Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, and welcome to Head and Blood Right. Uh, I just turned the volume up so I could listen to uh, Superman Goldfinger, and I drank all the iced coffee that I had left. So I'm basically ready to go. I don't actually remember where I was, because I last played this last week. For whatever reason, I've been having, like, attention problems to the point where I'm... Oh, good, I needed to do that. Damn. Uh, oh, cool. That makes it easy. Should have made it easy. Um. Dang, the right door. I've been having attention problems in like the weirdest way. Like, I can record one day a week. Like, I can't get myself to record any day besides that day. Went exactly where I wanted to go the first time, and then can't find it again. Um. Like, I've only been recording on Fridays, and like, if that was my schedule, that would be fine. But like, I didn't do that on purpose. I haven't been doing that on purpose. It's just like, pure coincidence. Eleven, right? That's the episode we're on. Did I make that up? Oh, Who put that hole there? Really? Who built this whole fucking thing? We've got some iced coffee in the fridge. We had some iced coffee in the fridge. Damn. Uh, so I'm energetic and basically ready to fucking kill. And then I listened to Superman Goldfinger. I'm like, damn, it was nice of uh, nice of them to write that song for me. I like these little cloud farts here to indicate that this is the way we're going. Air fragment. Oh man, I love love a good tightrope walk. Is this going on? Yeah, I don't want to drop off, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push my luck here. Oh yeah, this is this place. Or this stupid thing. No, it's this one. Yeah. Damn. Wow. That's okay. I wanted to load the save anyway. So yeah, I'm basically just gonna go until I hit the end. Uh, and if this episode ends up being like an hour and a half, then like whatever. If there's gonna be an episode that's gonna be an hour and a half, it's usually the last one. That's kind of how it rolls with me. Um. Like, when I beat Halo Reach, it was, like, a really... Like, I, I, I usually hit it, like, you know, 30, 40 minutes, maybe an hour for every episode. Last episode. Like, almost two full hours. Confused you, orange ball, with one of my orange balls. All right, let's reload everything. We managed to make it out with a uh, hundred health, so that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I should have been able to do this from the get-go, but whatever. Okay. This gun doesn't work underwater. 
gonna get some slurp. They're giving me bolt mags, so maybe this is the only gun that will work underwater. going now. I don't know why if this is like a really standard thing, but for some reason like I feel like they always make it like it's the automatic or it's like your workhorse that works underwater. Like in Half-Life 2, the guns that, uh, the guns of yours that work underwater are the pistol, I think the machine gun. It's kind of ice so I can see through it. The pistol, the machine gun, oh, and the crossbow, because it's not like, there's no gunpowder in it. It's just a straight up, like, bow. Wow, those things actually were kicking my ass. Oh, I'm drowning. I, uh, totally blanked on them. I'm out of practice. So it's not going to be that big on that. I was just like really, really deep in underwater. I don't even remember what that does. Which is that, these two. No one tagged me, that's okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, I can, I can save, I may as well. There should be one more down here. But this thing's probably gonna lower when I hit this one, huh? I saw a screenshot of this game, and I was reminded that I've never picked up that hand again. And like, of all the guns in this game that give me the vibes of like a, uh, oh, I gotta go breathe. Of all of the guns in this game, to give me the vibes of a, uh... Okay, come on. There we go. The gun's reminiscent of, like, Heretic or Hexen. Are, you know, stuff... This is air too. Done. Done. Of course it would be air. Let's... The water fragment. Now we have the air fragment and the water fragment and Is that all? Of them? I actually don't know if that's all of them. Alright, and we're good. Well, so I went through all of these once, and then I went through them a second time, having placed this thingy down. And so I did both of these. Kind of clever that you, like, take the earth fragment to air, and it gives you something to walk on, because like, you're not air. Oh, hey guys. Right. Nothing's gonna be easy. That good running gun that I wanted. Okay, maybe not that much. Pardon me, Dorgos. Man, has anyone ever like made like a Kerberos 
like Corgi, like a Corgoros. Um, but you know, like a like a like a like a you know like a Corgi that's like three headed. I think that would really work. Normally, it's like a it's like a very specific group of dogs that like people will like cast as Kerberos, I guess. Which is the real way you say that, by the way. Cerberus is like, I think it's just a misnomer. Oh, duh, that was stupid of me. I was like, ooh, what's this item? I know what, I recognize that. I can pick that up. I don't have the fire one yet. Oh god, I just double tap sprint. I just double tap W to try and sprint like a Minecraft. I've been playing a lot of Minecraft with my wife, forgive me. Okay, um. Change my mind, I went to the wrong place. I think I got, like, every room. Yeah, I see, I'm seeing a lot of carnage in here. That looks right. And I think there were, like, three rooms that were full. I don't know what... Okay, I remember this. We're going through here. Remember this thick ass, like, cast iron statue of a lady. Okay, I picked something up off of here. The flame rune? Some such. These responders on the right Platforming in a first-person shooter. It's already not good. And then on top of that, you're gonna make me do it on sprites that are, like, explicitly flat. Like, it's their whole thing. They're rather famous for it. They're well-known. God damn it. All right, just kill me, just kill me. Get it over. that they're kicking me back and forth between all of the, um, like, all the challenges that this game has to offer, you know? Like, like here's platforming. Here's... Right, there's a little dead zone there that doesn't kill you. Or doesn't kill you fast. Um, like, they're like, hey, here's a... Here's combat, and here's, um, platforming, and here's puzzling, and, like, puzzling is kind of always my least favorite part of every shooter, you know? Like, I feel like we could skip that part. It wouldn't be terrible if we did as well. This is... Thank you. Oh, Jesus. Blown away by an exploding crystal... Oh, gee. Oh, those things all burn out. Get it over with. 
Here, I'll, I'll, I'll use my blowtorch on the fire to make to make the fire hot. Okay, 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 okay. So those things blow up, huh? So maybe it would be smart to maybe pop them first. Boy, it's going real good. did that one good run, and I really should have saved them. You know? Not doing me no favors for not saving. Maybe I should save here. All of them, though. What about over here? Okay, well, I did survive. Oh god, the forge elements. Okay, this looks new, but maybe I also saw this before. Oh, yeah, there's the fire fragment. Okay, so I must have missed that. Oh, unless I wasn't here. In which case, it's not new. Okay, well now you've seen me get it at least, so I can do this on my own terms. So this time when I grabbed it, it actually gave me a save for some reason. And I didn't get that last time. Okay, okay, we're down here, we're here. And this leads to things I don't think I need to go to. Pardon me, urchins. Pardon me. Damn it. Fuck off, please. I need a, okay, I already put a thing down. Okay, so now we just need to get the hell out of here. This room might fill back up. No? Word, that's all four. Yeah, all right, makes sense. The system wakes. That is a big fucking boss door. Of course you will. All right. Let's recheck everything. Everything's got to be super full. Yeah, we can go pick all of these up as well. It's probably like a point of no return thing, you know? Like, I'll just be a, a, a dummy if I don't have everything I, I possibly could. You know? So, um... Yeah. So yeah this is the meaty hall, right? I gotta say... I feel like I've collected a very, very great deal of... Oh, it's still popping off in here. Wow. What the fuck are you, though? I mean, it's just a big red demon. Is it going to be like my dad? Is that going to be like my... Like that. I love, I love that the guns are such a thing that, like... You're now making sculptures and statues of them, you know? Yeah, like, I kind of popped off when I saw... Okay, everyone knows that lava just sits, like, right beno below the surface of the Earth. Not that we're in the Earth. We're on it. You know, the real world is just like a skin. Spike. Do I have one of those? Isn't it just this thing? A default Rego gun? Yeah, it sure is. Okay, well, maybe we should check in here first. Uh, 
what is going on. The gates won't budge. There's a sentry gun in there doing some work for me. Thank you. Of course, it's not the final, final battle because we're going to have another... Alright, guys, we're going through the middle part. Maybe we'll even shortcut back through. Okay. I'm going to have to stand on this ring and hop into here. Ugh. That was cringe. Oh, it doesn't even go anywhere. Is this just like a little cute little secret? Where am I going? Buddy? What am I doing? Couple of spikes. Spike. Uh, oh, I see. I did it, just not the right place. Here. Busted Natch. Nice. We nice have corn to do the music for this one. Like, it's bad enough that, like, I have to deal with little guys, annoying little enemies, you know? But then you're also gonna give me, like... Is this the time to do it? You're also gonna give me, uh, fucking... Sorry, no, the problem isn't that I'm fighting little guys, it's that I'm doing it with the, you know, Doom Classic hitboxes. Saved. Cool. Cool. Head ripped off. Head ripped off. Damn, it's a lot of damage. Okay, yeah, I feel like this... That, the way that this, like, jiggles and moves around, like, maybe it's just a Doom thing. You know, maybe it's just the problem of having a, um... Classic style control scheme like this. Oh, I love seeing all of them just get moved over and paced. That's something big and heavy now. Let's try to conserve shots with this. It's supposed to be short controlled bursts, you know. The only proper way to solve 800 problems a minute. Freeman's mind is so good. It's a little cringe in some places, I will admit. But you know what? Freeman's mind is still good. Freeman's mind is possibly like one of the best pieces of like fan created media ever. Oh hey! And over here says Bear Warrior. What? Oh! These aren't drones. You guys are alive and shit. They're over in the council room. Brace the defenses. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Shit. <laughs> that ain't good. Toxic. Is, is that supposed to be my thing? Well, that's okay. I didn't do a very good job here. Load back up. And then let's lance. This might be a good time to stop time.
Maybe not. Man, you guys set up, like, barricades and shit? We went all out on this. Yeah, that wasn't really the best time to stop time. Switch back to this thing. Be better. Be better. Yeah, Freeman's mind has that problem where, like, it uses slurs occasionally. Not racial slurs. Um, you know, just ableist slurs. And, like, it's a character trait. It makes sense that the character would use them. Character is not meant to be agreed with or even liked. Um, and his use of, you know, ableist slurs is meant to be something, you know, repellent about him, because he's not a good person. Like, he starts the series, like, relatively unhinged. And, like, just the day he has makes it worse and worse every time. But like you still gotta hear racial slurs in this in this series though, and like in a series t uh, intended to be consumed for comedy, that's just kind of you know a problem. But you know, it's God, God damn it. so we got the fucking the squad. Tiadi. Well, I know that's Chatty. Glad to see you, sir. Alright. I will help. I will help. I feel like the whole game could be like this. I can't do a shell. Right. Anyone else up here? A lot of people up here, in fact. Wait, they said that this is the council room. God damn. Is this, a, is this like a projector screen? Yeah, for those who don't know, Freeman's Mind is like partially a fan fiction that you watch and listen to. It's partially a, what you would call a machinima, something that is just constructed out of you know, in-game footage and, you know, tells an original story. Um, and partially just like a retelling of Half-Life 1. Uh, it's made by, I think his name's Ross Scott Earthkeepers. Um, but it's just like, what if we got to hear, you know, Gordon, Dr. Gordon Freeman is famously a protagonist who does not speak. And, and the, the crux of the series is, what if we did though? Now, what if we got to hear Freeman speak? Wouldn't that be interesting? Oh, this is that one broken thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and like, what kind of, and then, and then it goes on to be like, well, what kind of a man really could survive, you know, such an awful uh, event like the Black Mesa event? Fuck, can't believe we survived. Don't know how much longer we can hold out. Your eyes peeled. This ain't over. God damn. Your designs are erotically charged. Like, this is the least sexy design in here. Jesus. So, is Anna Lancer or is Anna Bear Warrior? Dendra's in charge now. She's inside. Go talk to her. Hello. Wow. Dura. Dendra wants to talk to you. Oh my god. Dura survived. Hell yeah. Yeah, I actually let's played um, Half-Life 1 with my wife, uh, my fiance. Uh, and so if you would like to see the like game as it's played proper, then do that. But 
with a lot of prior experience in Half-Life 1, Freeman's mind, like, really comes alive. But even if you don't know, like, Half-Life 1, Freeman's mind is still pretty good. Over here is Anne. There's, like, a guy. Pushing a spring water, cider. Easy on the food. There's much, there much left here. Turn that. The anti-magic ward of the parapet back on. That saved our skin. Hmm. Wounded witch says buzz off. Hello. Hmm. At last you've arrived. I'm Lancer Dendra. I've assumed command of the remnants here. <laughs> Press use to skip briefing. Hmm. Daddy has informed me about your unexpected return to Valk. She's found about Lil's betrayal on that Nithril character that eagerly wants to break us apart. We have no time to fret, so I'll be brief. Okay, I'm not hearing her say anything, so I don't think I'm talking over her. Thanks to you powering up the parapet ward, Nithril's ability to teleport more cultists in has been suffered, allowing us to hold the defense of this wing. Beyond us lies the Crystal Heart, which we shall die protecting. In our desperation, we called for the power of the earth and collapsed as many entrances in the temple as we could. We bought time, but blocked ourselves from reaching the defenders in the western wing. Ah. Uh, it's the only other place to access the heart. We used to keep in touch with the lancers in there through the crystal, but we lost all contact. Cultists have so far focused on us. Interesting that they actually give you a button to skip the briefing, but they make you do it. Like, they make you pick if you want to hear it now or then. A few hours ago, Nithril's vanished from the front line, leaving a handful of her minions to keep us busy. Sent Tiati to find out what she's up to, but she has not returned yet. I fear for the worst. Mm hmm Yes, I need you to go find out what Nithril's up to. Won't be an easy task, but you shall not be on your own. As the Sergeant of the Bear Warriors, I shall entrust you with commanding your own squad. Oh, interesting. That's also something in Half-Life that, uh, uh, like, you needed Half-Life to, uh, implement. Take a few assist to aid you if you wish. You'll need this crystal key to gain further access. Take whatever supplies you need and get going. Find out what Nithril is trying to do. Ah, so I don't have to go easy on the food. Uh, ma'am, yes, ma'am. One more thing. We don't need to know what happened to the camp. We don't need to know what happened to the campaign, Dan. Morale's low, low enough already. And knowing that we might be the last of our kind won't help us now. Keep the story for after. Damn, yeah. Is this like all the orcs? Hello? Okay. Game set. Crystal key. And that's what we see when we look into the magical crystal ball. Hello, damn. No mine, I'd rather be left alone. Stone skin, vital healing. That's funny. Goop me the hell up. Fixer. Uh, I'm ready to join you. Get friendlies to follow you with the use key. Interesting. Her tiati shot with like a fucking dog. I would have plucked her eyes out instead. Got your back. Moving out to the west. Oh, they actually say things too. Neat. Okay, they appear to kind of just teleport around. Ah. Daddy saved your ass, huh? Not sure if you want to thank her. She's not here if you want to thank her. Gender Center on Recon. Good hunting warrior. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Dendra's in charge. She's inside. Go talk to her. Grass peeled. I believe we survived that onslaught. Alright, so who's all with me? Just you two? That's okay. A daemon. Oh, hey, but that's not a thing. Is this something I'm gonna have to use, like, skips for? A shooter with a party is always interesting. Sometimes it works, sometimes it really doesn't. Sometimes you get shit like a. Uh, what was that game? Use? You had like a team of four guys and you all made these like ugly, like crystal, like black and yellow crystalline projections to like protect you. It's kinda. kinda really ugly. Or like, god, Clive Barker's Jericho. 
No, wait, that was a... There was a wall somewhere. Yeah, they just camp around. This... Oh, it was back here. Very funny. Oh, hey. Man? Ah, yeah. Ah, Zan, I can't believe it's you. And link back up with the defenders. Oh, cool. So we got more now. Did our... Did our big girl get... I mean, I guess I'm the big girl, but... It's a big work lady. I'm running with this. Did she get stuck somewhere? Not back here. Did I accidentally use her and leave her in one place? Be really annoying. Oh boy! I just really want to ask over to kind of that. Whoa, you're new. You're new and exciting. Watch out, girls. Whoa, yeah, they're just, they're just going in. You survived. Lost another one. Damn, that sucks. I would like to keep more of the party, you know? Very interesting that um, they managed to go. Oh, hey, here. Oh! You're just back. Whoa. Let's reach heaven through violence, then. Can you draw their fire? I don't think you'll get too hurt. I know that normally that's not the sort of thing that you can take a lot of faith in, but I assure you, I'm swinging fast. I'm playing so many like fast-paced, exciting games right now. Luckily, I'm gonna slow it all down. This is interesting because like we haven't had like a lot of straight-up demons because the four elementals are. Those are like our friends, right? Like we built them. They're not even like real life forms, technically. Down. Lost another. That sucks. Not advancing backwards. Sorry, I gotta leave you in here. Gotta go find some things to slurp. There we go. Oh, you're alive. Awesome. Hey, you're back too. Oh, maybe maybe she got killed and they're like regenerating. My theory will be proved if we see uh, the other little goblin girl come back. Okay, let me see. God damn, what a way to say hello, huh? But yeah, like, um... Totally just hit me, sorry. Very sorry about that. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'm seeing a big pentagram here. Probably a bad sign, right? What's up, bitch boys? I'm try to avoid picking up that armor. Look at this. What the fuck were they trying to conjure here? Probably the final boss, right? Let's just see if I know. Oh, they have dialogue. That's cool. I like that. Or maybe these are just the only two that you're supposed to get. The only two you can get, you know? Um. I wonder if you can get like a, like a ten 
like a party of ten, like, swinging through here. But yeah, like, I'm trying to think, like, all the enemies we've seen so far are cultists or wizards of, like, a very human origin. And then, like, you guys are the human warriors. And then, like, we have been fighting, like, uh, forge elementals. But those are stuff that the orcs do. They're crystal type. They're not, like, even real life ones. This reminds me of the last level of ODST. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just the color scheme. That guy went flying. That was awesome. Oh, she got killed. Maybe she'll be back. I hope she'll be back. Trying to avoid shooting in the back. I'm very sorry about that. That's it. Oh boy. Also, kind of reminds me of the uh, last level of Stray. That's it? That's a secret? I mean, I'm, I've mentioned this in the past, but like, goddamn. Sometimes the things that they call a secret are not what I would call a secret. Very beat up. Imagine that hitting this running in, in Z Doom. I think GZ Doom is what we're on. It's probably difficult enough as, as it is. It locked us out with that shutter. Should be with open. Stock up. Yes. Green crystals. I like this. I do like it when the games just turn into big old shooting galleries for me. That really does work for me, you know? They're warriors. Hey, let me out of here. Oh shit, Jesus. They fucking were drowning you. I didn't even notice. Here's the rescue. The bastard trapped me inside this tank. Set up in the library ahead. We could reach in from here to come over there. Holy shit. This. Oh, Jesus, we got you guys. Oh, we got everyone. All the warriors. I think that, I think the splash damage got me. Good, I used it against them. I love that. You do love to see it. Yeah, they just poofed back out. Family arrival, Sergeant. I could use your help. On the topic of, like, how in Doom... Lead us through. Uh, like in Doom, every enemy is colored like a very red and orange or brown, sometimes pink. And Doom Guy himself is very green. Um, on the topic of that, I'm noticing that like so many of the enemies are just not green. Just whatever that means, just they're not green. Um, 
Oh, these are writing desks, but nothing's been written because these aren't like just places where you keep notes. This is a public worker. Heard Nithrin a demon passing by a while ago. He sounded awfully large. That's encouraging. Uh, but yeah, I'm noticing that like all the enemies are just not green, so that when the when our allies show up, it's like green. That's good. Don't shoot. You know, don't shoot her. She's green. miss our goblins. I wish we could get them back on the squad. Yeah, a lot of them also don't have a lot of blue, which also means that Xan looks pretty interesting. But yeah, a lot of the cover were too late. Mithril's just shattered the defense. Damn. Heavy armor. Damn! Big, big power. Oh, and this is like the area that I was in before. that one, girls. Yeah. Yep. Holy shit. Look alive. Time to make our founders proud. Right, we're gonna save back here. I'm the protagonist, so if I die, that news. Holy shit. So I think when they come back from the dead, it's because they, like, were just far away, not that they got killed. Because I don't, I don't, based on what I'm seeing, I don't think they are coming back from the dead. They're just coming back from being far away, you know? But luckily, it looks like being bear warriors, they just have a shitload of health. It's the crystal heart. This place is weird. First place of our generation. Here it's only I'll talk about just to grab that one. That's fine. I guess it like it's fine that it's like just so deep in the earth that like maybe gravity's getting weird or something, but like I don't know if this makes any sense. I love that, like, we finally find a heavy armor amulet, and it's just the biggest fuck-off super beast. Game saved? Okay, good. I was gonna do it myself. In the words of Shania Twain, let's go, girls. Oh, there's a button. This has to be an Easter egg, right? Nistel 2. I'll protect this place. We've no time to waste. Loya Venus, Sarah. Robo Patron. Karshan Aegis. Damn, that one's. Is that like a Gudra Mew? Yeah, these must be um, Patreon backers. Wow. Equid. You again? Yep, you again. Iceman. You again. This is your third one. Daniel Jewell. Papa Plague. D the Rage. M.A. Kerr. So these must either be, like, these are these are either Patreon or, like, Kickstarter backers. And these are Sprite edits. Like, this is a Cold Forge Elemental, and this is just Xan with more goodies on. And then some of these are original sprites. So I'm thinking that some of these people must have had OCs. And they just were like, hey, can you just draw my OC and make it into a sprite and put it in the game? Metazealot. That one's pretty good. Albatross. Just a bile of guns. Copper bolt wire. Another Danix. Alex Zerker. <sighs> 
Frawlock, DS over. Bearded Doom guy. Oh yeah, it's the it's the UAC helmet as well. Russian Aegis. And 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 instead of his uh his like chicken revolver ocelot with a thing, it's like this revolutionary guy. I don't know what that is though. Rob GM. That one's very horny. Vivian Lin, gifted by Albatross. Is that simp and I see? Art of Shred. That one's pretty rad. This is interesting. Equid again. You again. Albatross again. This has to be something that somebody drew. Uh, Sasha the Lynx, avatar created by Sasha the Lynx. Well, there you go. Kure Minaski. Papa the Plague again. Copper Bolt Wire 1 and 2. Kure again. Q69. Q69. Wow. That is almost too much. That was this one. Lem. Nistel and Nistel. Oh, thank you to everyone who financially supported Hedden on Patreon. Ugh. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's Tiati. She was bleeding out while I was looking at boobs. Santa couldn't stop her. She made it inside. Go get her. You can't let her take the disc. What disc? Like, I know that there's like a crystal heart. Oh, I guess it's a disc. Yeah, did, like, no one know that the Crystal Heart was a disc? Because I didn't. This is new information to me, fellas. Okay. The Crystal Curator says, Be gone, Elf. The disc won't bring you anything but doom. Your barrier won't last forever, Orc. The only doom here will be upon you. It doesn't have to last forever. I have some friends on my side. Yeah. <laughs> the Lancers, the Reavers, the, the Bear Warriors, and the Girl Bosses. Yeah, well, so do I. And it's a big demon man. Okay. The I Division. Hit Lord Alpha. Okay, it's probably the time to go very loud, right? I mean, tip, shoot at the cyber demon until it dies. And also rip the Terran Oh, here come the ads, I bet. Get some slurp, thank you. Yeah, I think the girls might have died. I really hope that we don't have friendly fire then. We got a decent check that was... That's pretty good. We got a good amount that was hit points. Okay, so it's time to go louder, sooner, quicker. More. Is acid the way to go? Up, up, up. That's... Imagine feeling secure in your air support, your superiority, you know, air power, and then somebody, like, just hucks a bottle of acid into your mouth. Somebody got burned to death. I'll go with one of my girls. He's going to make a jump. Got him down 60. Oh, those are all enemies. Totally thought that they weren't. You know the law. Final boss of the shooter must be just essentially bullet. I don't even know what that attack 
because I don't want to find out, sir. There's a 50 each, that's cool. Pardon me, let me... Holy shit. There you are again. It's going well. It was going well. It's going well again now. You have no armor, but that's okay. Oh my god! Yeah, Zan was obliterated by Pit Demon Alpha. confirmation on whether or not we get friendly fire protection. Straight up war zone. It's a decently challenging final boss. Sometimes I've found the uh, cyber demon to be a little lacking. Damn! And like, they actually even stop using him like a boss. They just use him as like a. Like, the cyber demon in Doom is sometimes used as like the period at the end of a sentence, you know? Like, yeah, he's a big deal. You just gotta finish a level with them though, you know? Like, it's not even like a huge deal, it's just a big deal. Okay, we're now down to those. Something good. God, what's back here? Puke land? Oh shit, it's a bunch of those girls. And you fucking things. I am missing my girlfriends. I'd like them back if at all possible. I don't expect it. I just know that, you know, if anyone is listening, that is what I would like. I don't even know what I'm putting on now. But, like, this is the final boss, right? What are these? Howls of Clown Shoes? Oh, work. Cool. There wasn't even anybody there. I was just making sure, you know, not on my own. Oh, god damn it. This is a hard fight. I'm gonna blow all these just because, like, they'll hit up real good. Okay, that gets down 20% of his health. And it looks like at 75 is when all of this stuff starts coming in. Oh, Jesus. Wasn't paying attention there. It's all gone. Maybe if I can try. 
squad actually. God, that was totally an ally. Sorry. Promise I'm not trying to hit you. do a dangerous save here. Okay, just because I really don't want to do all of them. I mean, I can again. So I have already done it a uh, decent deal. Excuse me, sir. I'll be out of your way. Just one moment. Ooh, there's more help. So good to remember and be aware of. Direct hitting them with the uh, acid is still reliable. Very reliable. This means that I'm not damaging him though. And like, I feel like I can just go home if I do that, right? Pardon me, everyone. Dancing through the middle of a party here. Gee, I first saw that was rad. Whoa! Gas got toxic. Damn. Okay. Pick that up. Holy shit. fighting game here, basically. I know it's a pretty common goal for me. Wait, maybe this is the time to do this. You know? Move in the frozen time, I see.
treated like a musket. Gonna reload after every shot. Jesus. This one's real, real going. Okay, we're going okay. What happened? I literally said we're going okay in time for me to take some damage. God. Oh, the girls are coming. The weird wax girls. Totally empty. That's a move. I wish I knew a little more about how this shot worked, you know? There's just so much shit going on. You know I'm somebody who typically keeps my composure in video games, even when they're really hard ones. I'm like, this is getting ahead of me. There's just so many things. By the way, try to hit F5 a little in the past. It didn't really work out, so I'm not sure if it's now. Kind of annoying. Is here safe? We'll save up a danger zone. It's a pretty dangerous zone, right? I'm, I'm in it. So many particle effects on screen. This is the sort of shit that would blow your mind if you were looking at it, uh, like, when Doom came out, you were like, what the fuck, you know? Like, the transition of, like, game expected quality, or what am I trying to say? The, the, the transition of, like, the typical amount of quality that you would expect from a game. From, like, between when Doom came out to, uh, to when Quake came out. Like, there's a lot of difference there, you know? here is a health question. I mean, I say I want it, but I need it. Yep, it's you. God! There's just so much! Like, the Warlocks are annoying. I'm gonna say it. Like, they're flying, they shoot so fast. I 
And like, it's not even that I that I've been fighting them for a very long time. Or uh, no, it is that I, it is because like, if they if they've been introduced and they were late in the levels, like there are just so many of them, and they never have to touch the ground. Like, in a sprite-based game like this, one of the convenient things about it is because there is like ground. You can just say, well, I'll just shoot in that general area, and it'll usually work, and it does. Like, that's something that's very convenient and very helpful about um, shooters that are sprite-based. But in, you know, like, with, uh, when you're fighting, like, a, uh, like, one of the floating, like, a hacker game in, um, in Doom, you can just be like, well, I'll, okay, well, I can just rely on the game to shoot the ground, you know, in front of it, and that'll deal damage, and I can, you know, work on killing it that way. You know, I don't need to jump up to its level and fight it man-to-man -man with my fist. I don't need to you know, aim up at it. And, like, aiming up isn't a particularly crazy thing to do, but with a sprite, sometimes you can miss things that you would hit if the game was actually modeled in 3D. And, like, I've just been dealing with these things for so long. Jesus. You know, what even hit me there? What dealt so much damage in one blow? Like, I don't want to see him anymore. Get him out of my sight. Like, the, 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 the weird, snidely little, little ink women are, are weird and gross, but, like, they're kind of cool, at least. Okay, okay, we're good. That running through here will like give do me some favors in terms of like just trying to avoid uh just a regular ass dog is that what we're doing now where did you even come from did you die in like the dog wars or something wasted a little bit there Nation's fucking D over here. I know it's like a classic design, but like, maybe I've seen enough of just a big red devil, you know? Maybe there's not much that can be done with a big red devil anymore, you know? Maybe that's just not a cool enough design. This would also be a really good time to have some turrets. I didn't actually think I had any. Oh, cool. They're definitely going to be killed pretty soon. I'm aware that I'm probably making people nervous with my lack of saving, but I assure you that I am thinking about it. I do want to save. relatively safe. Just have to fucking run the second I load back in. Okay. I can't believe that these are actually working. Like, they're helping and shit. They're drawing fire, too, so shit's getting off of my back. I'm gonna cash in and take this just Do some of these. Whoa, we're actually getting something. This is new. <gasps> oh, that's 
gnarly. I didn't even need to save. Oh, so fucking gross and meaty. Such a display of my demon blood. But sadly, you are too late. Whatever, dude. You're just like a, a lady. See you in hell. Funny, hardy har har. Holy shit. Game saved. And we're just gonna follow her in. So, did we win? I really don't feel like we did. <laughs> I know that that kind of sucks to hear. After a fierce battle, the grotesque demon finally collapsed, his dying roar echoing through the halls. Stumbling towards the massive doors, the half-orc forced them open, gathering breath for her final fight. Uh, yet her fist unclenched as she found Nithriel holding the mysterious disc. She was too late. Well, the, the, uh, the narration said it, now I know. Warlock wasted no time, conjuring an Eldritch portal and escaping the orc stronghold with a disc. But Zan was hell-bent on not letting her get away. Driven by a swift impulse, she plunged into the closing wormhole, following Nithriel into places unknown. And I guess that's what, um, Hedden 2 will be about, huh? Of course, since this is Head and Blood Right, the two have actually been, like, combined into one game, and presumably it'll just kick us in. See, so yeah, a Head and Dev, obviously a lot of indie devs just call them, oh, they survived. At least those two survived. I don't know if those are the ones that were with me. Oh, uh, yeah. Having repelled the last wave of invaders, the Iron Division rushed to the heart. Yeah, a lot of people just go by, you know, name of game dev. But this person also goes by Zen. <laughs> I found nothing but massacre and destruction. The sacred disc artifact, gone. Both Zan and Tiati have disappeared without a trace, leaving many questions behind. I know! The Tiati thing's new for me. Zoom into... Dura? Is that her name? Thanks to I Am Failtacular for the bits of character and lore inspiration. Was it his idea to have them be huge, tittied, like, orc mommies? The invasion was uh, over, but the damage left behind by Nithriel's something something faced something something. Uh, soundtrack. Uh, those six ish people? Methadone Skies. Oxul is Hedden's dedicated OST composer. Alexander Brand is credited as the man, the legend. A few secluded fighters who survived the initial attack regrouped and held out against the remaining foes. Yeah, like if you can hold out, if you if you've held out till this one, Zan was Olivia Steele. Reaver was S.B. Stigall. Uh, Lancer was Emmeline Tuck. Sarah Mears was the Bear Warrior, I think. Brutal friendly AI by Fuck Sergeant Mark IV. He didn't do it specifically for this game, right? Lith had already met her swift demise. She was prepared for cremation and stripped of all honor. Yeah, I got her. Zura was uh, recovered from Lith's tank and it urgently put under intensive treatment. Cover art by Fragua Studio. Extra posters and paintings by Aranth, Jesse, Hiss. <laughs> High rank Lance's parents, she assumed temporary control over Falk. Um, Sergeant Mark IV did a mod called Brutal Doom. Her efforts, however, focused on studying Lyft's note to cure and revert the horror she had created. More so as she was carrying the dark poison herself. GZ Doom Engine, Graf Zoll is the lead development, the Doom community, John Carmack, the original guy, Rachel, and then someone I didn't get a chance to read. Once a lively fort, Ice Peak was nothing more than a frigid stone husk, a stern reminder of this deeds. DC Doom Builder is Maxi D, Gez, Zix, Simon Judd did the Slade 3 Doom Editor. Brutal Doom is an okay Doom mod. Um, a lot of people really stand by it. I think that it's maybe a bit too much inside a lone dwarf, so we can get the things back in order. Hell yeah! 
Yeah, I'm happy about that. I remember that guy. Not his name, but him. Lance Dendro was ordered to return to her base and ensure the functioning of the anti-magic ward. Dendro, that was her name. Dora was someone else. The time split between burying her sisters and staying at the edge of the mountain, watching and waiting. Uh, thanks to those who helped me learn how to develop a game and answer my questions. Bunch of people. Sergeant Mar 4 is in there. Yeah. And a couple of the other people we've already seen, and some new people. But yeah, like, Sergeant Mark IV is definitely somebody who's from, like, the old internet. You know what I mean? Captain Durr gathered a handful of warriors and headed to the forge. So, like, in the uh, source code for Brutal Doom, there's, like, a bunch of racial slurs, because Brutal Doom is, you know, it's edgy, it's cool. Uh, they need to hunt down rogue forge elementals and reestablish a connection with the monitor case below. Thanks to the beta testers for their feedback. Quake, Do Quake Doom Nukem? Whatever. Bearded Doom guy again. <laughs> like, your name is Quake Doom Nukem. Like, I wonder what your preferred genre is. Anyway, yeah, I hate Brutal Doom. Like, it's an okay mod, and, like, it has some cool stuff in it. But, like, there are some mods that do the crazy bloody overkill stuff better. There are also just better mods to play if you want to improve the d weapons of Doom. And, like, the joy of it is sucked out because Sergeant Mark IV is such a cunt. Oh, Claire Redfield was on this one. That's cool. Days passed quickly as the few surviving members of the Iron Division struggled to restore their stronghold. Uh, but as tunnels were cleared, stragglers were rescued, and bodies were buried, time seemed to flow slower. The questions began to arise. What happened to the campaign against the demons? No messenger had arrived. Why was the disc artifact so important to Nithriel? How would it change the future? And where did Zan go? Abhoth be like, ooh, I'll never tell. End of Hedden 1, Crystal Heart. But yeah, it's a shame that like Sergeant Mark IV is such a dickhead, because like, he also did do a lot of important shit in the Doom community, and he did crack open a bunch of modding stuff that helped people in a lot of ways. But, like, also, like, what an asshole, you know? You ain't gotta be like that. Damn. Slate 3, it's a Doom editor. Wow, all right. But, yeah. Uh, bitching about Sergeant Mark for a side, because what are you going to do? There's going to be racist weirdos on the internet no matter where you go. Uh, this was a lot of fun. This is really good. Um, like, it's functional as a Doom Wad, but it's also just like a really fun game anyway. Like, it works on its own. It is interesting that this is all built in the Doom engine. Like, that's really cool. I love that. Um, it's very entertaining and like, it is mostly tasteful in how horny it is, you know? Like there's not like, not graphic at all. There's some stuff where I'm like, wow, you are almost assuredly beating your dick to this, but whatever, you know? I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna judge a man too harshly for loving like a huge muscular orc. Especially, like, a huge boobied orc woman. Um, I don't, like, particularly rate games when I'm done with them. I don't even rate Doom Wads. But, like, this this definitely, I feel like... Like, it is literally a Doom Wad. It's built in GZ Doom. But I feel like it doesn't really deserve that descriptor. I feel like just saying, oh, it's a Doom Wad, like, lends a, a sense of illegitimacy to it. And, like, I don't want to do that because this is really, really good. Um, I want to get across that this is a really fucking solid game. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have the chance, I would buy this game, especially if it goes on sale, because I got this on sale. Um, I would also, if you really liked it, go to Zan's Patreon. Um, yeah, I got this on Steam. Oh no, I got this over Humble through Steam. Um, and I think it's also on Itch.io.
But yeah, uh, if you would like to play it, it's a lot of fun. And there's more difficulties as well. And the highest difficulty gives you a bunch more weapons. Um, at some point, I am going to come back. I mean, I should. I said I would, and I like this game, and I do want to find out what happens next. But at some point, I, I am going to play come back and play the second episode. But like, I'm actually very happy with how it wrapped up. I feel like I did play a full, complete game, and they just included two in there, which they actually did with Doom as well. Um, like in 94, five i want to say um they released this thing called the final doom which had all of doom one and all of doom Two on there or was it after that like i don't remember it was barely alive you know i wasn't alive um but yeah so like if you buy uh, uh doom in the modern era oftentimes you'll get the final doom and it'll have doom one and two and it'll have uh, a map pack called tnt evolution and it'll have this thing called plutonia and both of those are just hard Doom maps that are very well made. Very classic as well. Um, and this is a lot like that, where it's like, yes, that's the full game. And then there's a second also full game on there. Like, that was a good seven hours. It was a great seven hours, in fact. Um, and that's about what you would get from a Doom, like, style shooter. They're not particularly long, but you are supposed to play them over and over again, improve your part time, find more weapons. Yeah, I don't know why the, the Flame Fist didn't come back. I was excited about that. Um, but yeah, uh, that was really good. I really like that. I don't know when I'm going to come back and do the, uh, the last episode, but sometime. But yeah, I've been Alfred. Uh, this has been Head and Blood Right. Uh, I hope you all had a good day. Thanks. Bye.